Welcome to Iraqi Dinar News Weekly Review, where we delve into the latest reforms and economic developments in Iraq. Our focus is on providing you with a concise and comprehensive update on Iraq's strides in economic revitalization based on reports from Middle East news media outlets. If you're keen on keeping up with the intricate world of Iraqi dinar news, economic reforms, and infrastructure projects without the hassle of sifting through multiple sources, you're in the right place. Let's dive into this week's headlines. Iraq's Economic and Infrastructure Developments – A Comprehensive Overview Major Gas Project License Granted – The National Investment Commission NC, has awarded a significant investment license to Hafia Gas Company HC, for a $2.5 billion gas project in the Nuwanamar field, Basra province. This endeavor aims to produce 300 million cubic feet of gas in two phases, with an expected completion timeline of 36 months. Boost in Oil Derivative Exports The Iraqi Ministry of Oil is setting sights on augmenting refinery production capabilities to not only meet local demands with improved quality and environmental standards, but also to venture into the exportation of oil derivatives. With refineries in southern Iraq and Karbala ramping up production, the ministry is also focused on rehabilitating facilities like the Baiji and Al-Qayara refineries to further this initiative. Collaboration with Chinese firm, an Iran-backed Iraqi militia subsidiary, the General Engineering Company, has inked a memorandum of understanding with China's Machinery Engineering Corporation, CMEC, to kickstart construction. Engineering, trade services, and energy projects across Iraq, signaling a strengthening of Sino-Iraqi ties. Extension of Metro Project Tenders The NC has extended the deadline for tender submissions for the Baghdad and Karbala Metro projects, providing potential bidders additional time to prepare their proposals, thus ensuring a competitive and comprehensive selection process. IFC's Partnership with Iraq in a significant meeting with the International Finance Corporation, IFC, discussions centered around enhancing Iraq's economic reforms, investment environment, and GDP growth through support for non-oil sectors and the empowerment of the private sector, highlighting a robust plan for economic diversification. Advancements in e-payments, the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, is spearheading the modernization of Iraq's electronic payment systems, alongside reporting a notable increase in foreign reserves and banking sector deposits, underscoring a positive trajectory towards monetary stability and financial inclusivity. Local protests against border fence with Iran. The decision to erect a barbed wire fence along the border with Iran has sparked protests among locals in the Kurdistan region, concerned about the impact on their agricultural and livestock activities. This move, part of a security agreement with Iran, has been met with local and legislative pushback. UNHCR's infrastructure projects. The UNHCR has successfully completed numerous infrastructure projects across Iraq, including healthcare centers, schools, and public amenities, contributing to the country's reconstruction efforts and improving the quality of life for its citizens. EU support for housing and employment. The European Union's contribution of 20 million euros towards the building equitable and inclusive transitions towards decent work and affordable housing in Iraq. Program signifies a collaborative effort to enhance job creation and sustainable housing solutions in Iraq. Market dynamics and currency trends. Amidst regional tensions and economic transformations, the Iraqi stock and currency markets reflect cautious optimism. The Central Bank of Iraq's policies and the government's expansionary budget point towards a resilient economic landscape, despite challenges. Thank you for tuning into Newsroom Weekly Review. As Iraq continues on its path to recovery and growth, we remain committed to bringing you the most relevant and impactful news. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for weekly updates.